Hey friends, today we're gonna to do something just a little different. Normally I have, you know, I do fusion routines, cardio routines, and they get your heart rate up and I love them and I'm definitely gonna to continue to bring those to you. But today, admittedly, I'm very low in energy. I'm a bit overworked and a little, for me, a little movement is gonna to have to go a long way. I'm also limited on time. I only have so much time to do this. Um, I've also been really working on something personally in my life where I'm trying to look at my weaknesses and to not avoid them, right? We tend to want to avoid the things that aren't the strongest things about us. When it comes to my body, my personal body, my triceps and my outer thighs tend to be the things that are the weakest on my body. And so that's what we're going to work on today. What makes this routine fun though, is it's a great addition to my other routine. So if you do feel like getting your heart rate up, if you're in that mood, go, go for it. Go do my other workout and come back to this one because this is gonna feel like an incredible capper. But if that being said, if you just want to feel a little bit more focused, we're gonna be lying on your side for the glute work and then we're gonna come up onto your knees for the tricep work. And it's really, really concentrated. All you need today is a five pound weight. Uh, two, five, sorry, a set, a set of five pound weights. You can go, definitely go a little bit lighter. You can go two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. Some of you, when it comes to your triceps, will want to go a little bit heavier. You might want to go up to 10 pounds. What's important about it is that you get full range of motion. So if you're choosing a weight that doesn't allow you to get range of motion, then it's too heavy. You have to go lighter. All right. So that being said, we're going to get right into it. All right. We're going to get right into outer thigh work. Let's all come down onto your side. Why don't you mirror me? So I'm going to come down onto my left. Why don't you come down onto your right? Okay. So I am going to start on my forearm, my elbows directly underneath my shoulder. If this is something right away where you're like, this is not, this is not it kit. Come on down. You can rest on your hand. You can also rest on your arm. Okay. Up here is a little bit more challenging. My heels, I have a feather on me. My heels, my hips, and my shoulders are in alignment, and I'm lifting out of the bottom side of my rib cage. I lift my feet up, option to keep them down as I open my top knee and close. Okay, full disclosure, <laughs> this might be a little bit more challenging for me right away because <laughs> I tried to do the video before, and then I realized that I was cutting off the top of my head. <laughs> My husband's not filming me today. This is just, this is just us. And so I did this whole outer thigh routine already and my butt was on fire. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens, <laughs> but we're doing it together. So notice that I am doing this with body weight. I am just sort of waking up the glute here. Some of you will feel it right away. Some of you, it's going to take a little longer for the brain to connect to that area. Depends on where you are. All right, keep going for me. Pretty soon we're gonna grab that weight. And then it's about to get awesome. <laughs> I couldn't even fake that enthusiasm. <laughs> it's about to get awesome. <laughs> 15 seconds. Can you lift out of that bottom side? Good. Five, and rest it down. All right, let's grab your weight. So whichever one you've chosen. Again, you don't have to be on your forearm. You can come on down. Bring your knees in line with your hips and bring your heels in line with your knees, flexing your feet, okay? Your weight is just above your knee. It's not on your knee, it's on your thigh and you're holding onto the weight. As we lift the leg up, notice that my ankle and knee are in alignment with each other and then I drop it down and lift and drop. It's a good exercise, right? To identify your weaknesses and to go there and to have fun with it and to work on it instead of rejecting it and ignoring it and avoiding it, right? And then even maybe redefining those, that word, I'm realizing as I'm talking to you that I don't want to call it a weakness. Hold this leg up, gently press the leg out like you're doing a side leg press and bend it back in. Hip height, 
or a tiny bit higher. As long as you're not moving the torso, nothing is shaking. You're just pressing the leg, squeezing the outer thigh, pushing through the heel, being soft on the knee, okay? Notice how slow I'm getting. I'm really focusing on the squeezing of the outer thigh. Okay, so to go back to my thought, maybe not calling it a weakness, but just something to improve upon, right? Improve on. I'm working on improving the strength of my outer thighs. That's a little more empowering, don't you think? All right. Oh, this hurts so bad. <laughs> Eight seconds. Oh, you're doing great. On this next one, I want you to hold it out there. Yeesh. Turn your heel up, toe down as you drop the leg. Okay, reset, pull up in your ribs, lift the leg up and down. Now for some of you, too much, you can come on down to your elbow as you lift up and down. What you really want to feel is that the heel is doing the work, your top hip comes slightly forward and you're really holding on to that weight. You can also bring it up closer to your outer thigh on this one if that feels better for you. <sighs> Keep it going, I'm going to come back up because I like it here. Oh my gosh. All right, you got one more thing on this side. One more. I always think of that movie, A League of Their Own, when you go, one more. If you know that reference, leave it in the comment below. <laughs> Here we go. On this next one, I want you to hold it up. Okay, let's circle. Up and around. When you're circling, think of circling about the size of dinner plates. I'm going to come down now because... Second time around is just a little challenging. So I'm lifting through my heel. I'm not moving any other part of my body. I'm just lifting the leg, circling a dinner plate. You got it. Get ready for the reverse and then we switch legs. We'll do a little stretch and then we'll switch. Ready and reverse up and around. Who's feeling it? Me. Hopefully you too, especially with that weight. Whoa. Ah, come on. You got this. 10 seconds left and you get to rest. Five. And rest. Woo, maybe give it a little pat. All right, so from here, let's lie onto your back. And I want you on your back to gently cross that leg that you were just working. So in this case, it would be your left over your right knee and then push that knee away from your body and notice that my top foot is flexed. If you want a deeper stretch, you can reach the leg up, grab behind the thigh, pulling the leg in as that leg is still, as the right, it would be, sorry, your left leg pressing away. And breathe. All right, we've got about 15 seconds to make our way to the other side. So remember, the first one we're doing without weight and then we'll grab it, okay? So choose where you are in your upper body Align and we go up and down. Feel the subtle work of the lower abs lift through the rib cage. I'm going to place my hand here just to keep myself honest. So my right side is uh, in general my weaker side. So the one that I just worked is my weaker side. Um, also You'll, so you'll notice that one side for you is usually stronger than the other, but just so you know, this, the side that you just worked is obviously tired. And so it's going to still feel the work right now. And it's going to make this top leg fatigue just a little faster. So sorry. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh man. Okay, and rest it. Grab the weight, bring it onto the thigh, align your feet and your knees, flexing your feet, readjust your abs, go for it, up and down. It's 
So, how's your day? <laughs> What's new? You got it. And breathe. All right, on this next one, we hold it up as we gently, slowly push away like you're doing a side leg press and then bend it in. Option to drop the weight if it becomes too much for your body, right? Woo! Five pound is no joke. It's such a simple move, right? but it gets right in that spot. A spot that for many of us turns off if we sit too long, right? And without this muscle activating, we're not supporting our knees, our back, our hips as much as we could be. <sighs> okay, coming up. <sighs> Here we go. Let's hold the leg out there, heel is up down and up. Okay, this side is really tired for me, second time around, so I'm gonna come on down. No shame in your fitness game, friends, no shame. Up and down. It's so hard for me because my bottom side is, is weak right now, right? Might be the same for you. Okay, coming up very soon, we have circles to finish this off. And then we're gonna stretch and we'll move into some triceps. All right, are you ready? Here we go, hold this up as we circle up and around. That top hip is gently coming forward, the heel is lifted, you're lifting through that outer thigh in the heel reaching that leg long, abs pulled in tight. Okay, in about 15 seconds, we're gonna reverse direction to finish. Almost there, and reverse it, up and around. Come on, lift, squeeze, 15 seconds left. Ooh. I'm always amazed by fitness instructors that just can just bear it down, not feel, not show the pain that they're feeling. I feel this. Here we go, and rest, excellent. Okay, let's stretch. Cross your right leg over your left knee, flexing the foot, pushing the knee away from your body. And then if it feels okay, maybe you need a little bit more time, you can grab behind that leg. All right, so just to gear you up, the next thing we're going to do is, let's see, we're gonna do one, two, three moves, okay? Five reps, so repetitions for each move, but we're gonna do it for four minutes straight, okay? So the goal is for you to get as many rounds as you can within that four minutes, but that doesn't mean that you do it and sacrifice form. Form is crucial. So here's the first thing. So notice I'm folding up the mat and I'm gonna come down onto my hands and knees. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna have both weights, but I'm gonna start with one. And when I do this, my palm is turned in, I'm on all four, so I'm just demonstrating real quick and then I'll let you know when to start. You're gonna begin with five lifts, go down to the knee, lift up. Notice that my palm is turned in and I'm lifting up above my body while I stay parallel to the floor. Then we switch and do five on the other side. So five, five, that's considered one move. The next one is a simple tricep kickback. You grab the weights, the elbows are up higher than your rib cage, close into your body. So look at me, look how close my elbows are tucked in here. And then I extend the arms straight and bend. 
Important with this move is the, is the straightening. You want to hold it for a moment and then you bend. I'm not rocking my elbows forward and back. Extend and bend. I do five of those. Then I'm going to come down. Option to do this off your knees. Present your chest. Five tricep push-ups. Again, elbows into the rib cage. All right, so four minutes straight on the clock. As many rounds as you can with total control. All right, we're gonna get started here in about 15 seconds. I wanna make sure that we are being honest, okay? Here we go, 10 seconds, let's set up. <sighs> Option to go lighter weights as you progress, okay? In three, two, ribs, abs in, and let's go. Make sure you're counting, because you might be going at a different pace than me. Good. After you do five, you switch to the other arm. Good. Once you've done that, you grab both weights for tricep kickback, holding the straight and then bend. Five reps. Then five tricep push ups. Inhale down, exhale up. Very good, and then you just repeat. Here we go. Feel free to go faster or slower, whatever works for you. We're working out together. How are you feeling? Three. Make sure you're counting. I'll let you know when you've hit the halfway point. Chest is up when you're doing that tricep kickback. Abs in tight. You got it. Keep going. Breathe. Come on. One for me, two, three, four, five. All right, you've hit the halfway mark. You have two minutes to go. How do the minutes go by so slow, right? <laughs> Life goes by so fast. Workout minutes go so slow. Here we go. Three ribs, abs in, breathe. Oh, forgot tricep here back. <laughs> Keep going. You got it. Let it burn. Some of you may have dropped to a lighter weight. Some of you have may maybe chosen to go heavier. All is good. As long as you get that good range of motion and you feel in control and you're truly isolating in those triceps. Okay, we have about one minute to go. How many more reps can you get in? Here we go. Five tricep kickbacks. Five push-ups. Breathe. Have to remind myself that. Whoa, my triceps are getting tired. Here we go. Almost there, finish it. You have about 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Two, three, four. In three, two, one. I really want to do those five push-ups. Join me. Finish it. One, two, three, four, five, and rest. 
Excellent, excellent work. All right, before we stretch out those triceps, I want you to face me. You can be on your knees, like so. You can be sitting on your heels or just up on your knees. I want you to take your hands and I want you to have your palms facing each other. And I want you to come back to that tricep work and I want you now just to do your own body weight. So I'm gonna show you the side, right? And you're squeezing. So the emphasis here is the straightening of the arm and squeeze. Good, notice that you no longer need weights to feel what's happening. Squeeze that upper back, ribs in. Good, now hold it there. Turn the palms up to the sky, up and around circles. And here, you're squeezing your upper back. So squeeze those shoulder blades together as you circle straight arms. And then reverse, ribs in. You have to keep reminding myself, right? Hopefully that's helping you. In five, four, three, two, hold it there. Just pulse those arms up with the palms up to the sky. Press, press, press. You got this. Stay as high as you can without rounding your shoulders, squeeze. 20 seconds, come on, pump. Oh my gosh. Squeeze those triceps, sculpt those triceps. Up, up, up. Can you get higher, make it smaller? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Right in there. Excellent, excellent work. So while you're here, choose, feel free to come to sit down or you can stay on your knees, whatever works for you. Let's just stretch out those triceps real quick as you reach up and over to grab the elbow and up and over to one side. Push your head back into your hands as you stretch it out. So if you need more stretching in general, know that I have designated workouts that are just for stretching. You can find them on my channel. And breathe. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, here we go up and over to the, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Lift that arm up and back. Push your head back. And relax. Let's just go for a few shoulder rolls shoulder rolls and then reverse it and then sit up really tall I want you to lift your shoulders all the way up to your ears squeeze 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 and then just drop let's do that again take it all the way up as lift as high as you can and then drop inhale hold it up exhale drop four big circles with the arms inhale up Exhale down. You feel those triceps? <laughs> Inhale, rise. Exhale down. Two more. Take it up. And down. Last one. Take it up. Palms come together at the top. Bring your hands to your heart. Bow into gratitude. Silently expressing to yourself one thing you're grateful for that you wouldn't change for anything in the world. Can I share with you today what the thing I'm grateful for is? My ability to forgive myself. That was what just came to me. That was what I'm grateful for today, that I can forgive myself, right? Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope to see you soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like, subscribe, tell everyone you know if you think this might be of interest or help to them. As always, I appreciate your kindness and um, your commitment to this community. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon on the mat.